Good evening, Nancy here in Lafayette, Indiana, reminding you, if you dream it and believe it, you will achieve it. If you agree with this statement, please make some comments, give me high hearts and likes. And then if you're on YouTube, please give me some comments if you agree that if you dream it and believe it, you will achieve it. And please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Today I've been thinking a lot about reading. One of my coaches told me that I should read an hour in the morning on mindset and another hour in the afternoon on marketing. And I've been doing a lot of thinking about that. I have a feeling as new entrepreneurs and affiliate marketers, it's hard to know sometimes where to start with our reading. So a lot of times we can ask people that we know what they've been reading that is helping them. Now, I have several audiobooks that I've listened to that I really like. One of them is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I also listen to Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich on audio, but I also have that in, had that in hardback. There are many books that I have just in hardback, but then some books I also have in hardback and on my Kindle Reader. So I just thought today it might be fun to give you some suggestions on what I found that have helped me in my journey of online marketing. The first book I would like to share today is A Better Way to Think. And this is by a Christian author, H. Norman Wright. He uses a lot of Christian things in this book. So if you are a believer, I think you would get a lot out of this. And even if you're not a believer, I think he has a lot of things in here that would be helpful to you. Another book that I've read is The Influence by Robert Caldini. And this is a national bestseller, and it's The Psychology of Influence. The Psychology, the psychology of Persuasion. And so he goes into, sometimes it's just a matter of, I'm not very good at getting this book on. It's just a matter of being able to persuade people that what you're telling them is true and it's honest. And please be honest and tell people the truth. Another book that I've been reading that's been very helpful to me is Cash for Tizing. Cash for Tizing has a lot of good information. Although it was written a few years ago, it's still very applicable to affiliate marketing today. Another book that I found to be extremely valuable to me is the book The Iceberg Effect by Dean Holland. And I just found so much value and help in this book. So if you've never read this book, I would advise you to get it and read it. Another book, as affiliate marketers, you're going to need traffic. So another good book to read by Russell Brunson is Traffic Secrets. And so we want to, this book to will help you learn how to get people to your site. Another good book to read is The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. A lot of affiliate marketers find that this is a very helpful book. And I think it would be valuable to you too if you want to try it. Then another book that probably most people aren't that familiar with is Michael Price's book, Questions Are the Answer. And he goes through 100 questions for you to figure out the answers to. And by the time you do this, you're going to know a lot about how to influence other people and know exactly what it is and why you're doing this business. Then last but not least, there's a book by... Matt Backhack called Marketing Sidekick. And this book has all kinds of ideas. If you're trying to build your email list and you need to write emails, it gives you ideas for first lines in your copies. It gives you headlines suggestions. It gives you words that are persuasive. It is just a wealth of knowledge. And so I have found that this book is extremely valuable to me when I am writing my emails. So these were just a few suggestions. I got to thinking that when I started out as an affiliate marketer in the beginning, I had people make some suggestions to me on what to read. And a few years ago, I had listened to the book 
the richest man in Babylon. And if you have never listened to that, it gives you so many ideas on how to save money and make your money work and how to get out of debt. But these are just some ideas that I thought you might enjoy to try and figure out what books might be a good resource for you to read. So here I am reminding you once again that God has given each of us unique gifts to inspire, inform, and delight. May God bless you, my friends, until we meet again. Please hit the hearts and likes and make comments and the subscribe and comment button and the thumbs up. Thank you again. God bless you.